guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install RetroPie on Linux. Now, RetroPie, what it lets you do is it lets you run a whole bunch of retro games on your computer. So, like N64, SNES, Neo Geo, Game Boy Advance, a bunch of things like that. So, let's jump right into it. And here I'm running Zorin OS, but you can pretty much run anything that is based off of Debian, meaning Ubuntu, or Mint, or Debian itself. Obviously, this also works with Raspbian, meaning that you can use the same tutorial to install it on a Raspberry Pi. But I don't have one right now, so here we go. We're going to be pretty much doing everything here in a terminal. So, let's just bring this up here. And the first command that we want to run is sudo apt update then type in your password once it's done then do sudo apt upgrade hit yes and this is going to upgrade all your software just making sure that everything's ready to go alrighty now it's time to install a couple of packages that we need to actually set up RetroPie so sudo apt install minus y git dialog unzip xml starlet just like that and you can find the command in the description but just press enter and it's gonna install a bunch of stuff now it's time to download the RetroPie setup script so git clone negative negative depth equals one https colon slash slash github.com slash retro pie slash retro pie setup dot git say what now guys, you probably saw, but I did not oopsie. I did github slash com, but github.com. Just copy the command in the description, it'll all be there. And there we go. Now, we have to enter into the RetroPie folder, which we just created by downloading this. So, go to cd retropie-setup. Now this is going to put you into the RetroPie setup folder, and then we need to execute the setup script. So, sudo dot slash retropie underscore setup dot sh. And it's going to do all this and just wait. Now, once that's done, here you are with this notice. So, just press enter for OK. And it's going to bring you this menu right here. So, we're just going to hit basic install and then mouse over to yes, just with the arrow keys and hit on enter. And now it's going to install RetroPie. So this can take between like 15 minutes to an hour based on your internet connection and your computer speed. So guys, I will cut and I will be back with you guys once RetroPie has been installed. <laughs> Once you're back at this screen, you should just come down and hit perform reboot, and then yes, and it will just reboot your computer, and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, here we are, and now it is time to start it up and make sure it's working. So you can either come into the terminal and type in emulation station to run it, or you can come into this menu here under games and find RPI which I'm just going to drag to the taskbar quickly. But I'm going to run it from the terminal quickly. Enter. And you'll see it will pop up with this welcome window. Now, it says no gamepads detected, but if you plug in a controller, then it will be detected. But right now, I'm just going to use my keyboard. So, let's just hold the button on my keyboard. And then, you're going to want to set up all the controls just by pressing the buttons on your keyboard. So up down left right start select a b x y l r z l z r thumb is like pushing in on the stick and then up down left right 
up, down, left, right. Hotkey is going to be G. Then you press your A button as OK. And here we are. We're in this menu. Now, normally, this would be where you select your console, except we don't have any. So all it's going to show up with is RetroPie configuration. And you can go through all these. And yeah, there's nothing much to do right now, just because we don't have any games. So I'll show you how to fix that. You just want to press your start button, what you mapped to the start button, and then come down to quit, hit A, and quit, and then A. And it'll bring you back to your desktop, and we are going to want to get some ROMs and put them in there. So in the description, I have a link to this website called Retrostic, and pretty much it has a bunch of ROMs that you can download. So let's just hit on view ROMs here, and then there are a bunch of different consoles. Um, MAME, by the way, is arcade machines. As you can see, multiple arcade machine emulator. But for now, I'm just going to pick the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And let's just get Mario World and Mario Kart and Donkey Kong Country. Because that's the first three that we have here. Now we can come into these. Press on Download. Next one. Download. Next one. Download. And then... You can see that after a while we can hit save and just download them all. Let's do that automatically. There we go. So now under this download thing you can see that it will start to download. And we can open up our downloads folder quickly and see right here that we have our zip files. Now inside of these zip files is going to be one file. However, if there are multiple files, you're going to want to find the one that is called the game because sometimes they have like little advertisements in there. And if it's MAME, there's going to be a bunch of files, but let's not worry about that. Let's keep this downloads folder open and then open a new window and you're going to want to come to your home folder and then RetroPie and then ROMs. Now once you're here, it's going to show all of the different consoles so there's arcade for like the arcade games there's NES there's a bunch of different consoles here but I'm just gonna go under NES because these are NES games and then we're just gonna want to drag them in here now we can close our downloads folder and we have these zips now on every single console except for the main you're gonna want to extract them so right click extract here so we can just select our zips and delete them. And now we have these .smc files, or at least they're .smc for our NES. So let's close them out, close our browser, and we can open our RetroPie again, and it won't work. Right, I found the issue, and again, you guys might be laughing at me this whole time, but I put these ROMs in the NES folder when I downloaded SNES ROMs. So let's cut them and paste them in the right folder, the SNES folder. There we go. And now they're not in here, but they're actually in the SNES folder, which is the right machine. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now let's just open RetroPie back up, and now you can see that we now have the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And it's right here, and each time you add games, it will add the console of that game. But you can see three games available. Let's go into it. And we can see here we have Donkey Kong Country, Super Mario Kart, and Super Mario World. Now we can either hit the A button to play them, or we can actually get some information if you want something more like an arcade machine. Also, if you want the information and correct titles. So let's do that. The way that you can do that is by opening up our menu, going to Scraper, setting the Scrape From to be Screen Scraper, and then Scrape Now. Now, you can either keep on user decides on conflicts, and you basically have to select each one, or if you're doing a long list, you can just turn that off. So I'm just going to turn that off and hit start. And just wait. It'll keep working. And there we go. Three games successfully scraped. Now you can see that the games, they show a picture, they show, they show the cover, and they show a description, and how many players, and when it was released and the genre, and a bunch of stuff like that. So, let's say we want to play Super Mario World. Just press the button to launch into it. And here we go, launching Super Mario World. 
Et voila! You should be in the game without any problem and able to play it just like normal. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.